What up? What's up guys, it's Andrew Bishop here with a video for you about a question that I've actually been asked a lot on YouTube um, through actually over the course of over a year now. Um, I love hip hop uh, music. I grew up on uh, Dr. Dre, Eminem, 50 Cent, NWA, Public Enemy, uh, U Tupac, Biggie, you name them. Um, that's the music I grew up on. And then uh, thankfully the Lord um, saved me and uh, showed me a way through artists like Lecrae, K-Drama, D-Mob, Lil Prophet, Yavis, uh, Tadashi, Whole One One Six, you name it, um, that I can still have that love for hip hop. Uh, but now I can glorify my Savior through it, um, through that music, and, and it be worship and it be praise um, in keeping my mentality that I'm not idolizing uh, these artists, uh, which I've done in the past. So the one question that I've been asked a lot is, what is my favorite hip-hop song of all time um, with these artists? And so um, I'm going to give a top three. There are so many that... Every time they come on, I can just listen to and it just be so, you know, no matter what mood I'm in, um, it can just completely change everything. And so uh, my number one favorite song, and I'm going to have all these songs in the description. And the reason I'm making this video is not only because a lot of people have asked me this question. So instead of sending several messages out there, I could just make a video, kill several birds with one stone, right? Um, is also if you haven't heard of these tracks, you know, maybe it could help you like they've helped me. Maybe God can speak through uh, the artist to you like he has, do me, has done with me or maybe someone you know. Uh, because some of these tracks I've let other people listen to and they're like, bro, I had no idea that this kind of stuff existed. So uh, the number one track, my favorite track of all time, no matter what, is K-Drama's Air Jordan. Uh, Regis K-Drama Jones. Um, the first time I heard Air Jordan, I was with a friend uh, named Bob, and he actually he actually introduced me to the track, and we were we were at uh, my campus, my university's campus, and we were driving. He was like, "Hey man," he's like, "How about?" I was telling him about some issues I was having in life. He was like, "Man, you know what those issues, man? You just need to Air Jordan over them." I was like, "Yeah, I mean, sounds like a good idea," and he was like. No, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. He plays that track, and it was instant. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the chorus. Fell in love with the verses. Um, and then, yeah, it, that's my number one favorite track. So if you haven't heard Air Jordan, that's that's my number one of all time. My number two um, will probably be, and this, this is a song that, again, it comes on. I go nuts. I go crazy because it's it's so ill. The lyrics are tight. I love the beat um, is Lil Prophet, Prop a Duck. I, you know, I don't even remember the first time I heard the track. Um, but when I did, I was so, because Lil Prophet, you know, he's really, in K-Drama, they're not, you know, they're not as mainstream, if you will, as like a Lecrae or the 116 click, Trip Lee. Um, and so you don't hear much about these artists. I mean, I was blessed and fortunate. Uh, to meet K Drama and to hear his music for the past several years, just because of the he, he's local to me. A uh, little prophet, um, I I don't know how I how I heard his his first song, um, but I played it. So here's what happened. So before I moved, I moved to Cleveland for a little bit. Before I moved to Cleveland, um, I was you know listening to a lot of these guys and just going crazy on iTunes and buying all these albums. And I think it was like maybe people that you'd be interested in or, or something. And then a couple clicks later, I land on Lil Profit. Um, and then I heard he did a music video for the, for the song. And I actually, since I'm on YouTube, I watched some of his videos where he was like going to into grocery stores and witnessing, asking people what they thought of Jesus and what they thought of God. I was like, who is this cat? So when I heard Prop a Duck, I was like, oh my gosh, this right here, this is like an anthem song. And so then that year, so this was probably, I don't know how many years ago, but I was doing a play-by-play -play announcer at a basketball tournament. And during halftime of the championship game, I played Prop a Duck. Now, nobody knew what it was, but the kids, while they were shooting during that halftime before the third quarter began, they were like feeling it. And I was like, dude, this song, this is it. So 
Prop a duck, that's my number two. You got to play it in your car. Like Air Jordan, you play that in your car. You can listen to it on your computer by yourself, but get those in the car while you're working out. It's over. Number three is Priest, The Letter. I first heard this song. Um, I got Priest's mixtapes and all that. And uh, I first heard the song because Priest, D-Mob, K-Drama, Yavis, uh, Cambino, um, is real like all these all these artists that aren't as popular if you will um i i mean i just i you know i just i think they're some of the greatest artists out there and priest song the letter lyrically is probably one of if not the most convicting song of a uh, hip-hop song i've ever heard in my life um conviction to me when I hear it, it kind of gets me anger. Like, it's just perfect. And one of one of the lines in the song is, um, okay, you follow the tulip. Okay, your faith is just popping. But evil is still advancing. And it ain't planning on stopping. When I first heard that, so I first heard this track when I uh, was being influenced to learn Calvinism and learn the tulip. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, how real is that? Like, okay, your faith, okay, you got it, okay, you follow the tool up to a T, but look, here's evil. It's not planning on stopping, you know, live for Christ, you know. And so, man, those are those are my favorite fa top three. It's hard pickings. Uh, Chisel Me is, is definitely top 10. Um, on the High uh, is, is definitely top 10. I mean, and I can, Fanatics by Lecrae, uh, that's definitely up there. Don't Waste Your Life by Lecrae. So there's there's a lot, but if I had to narrow it to those three, it is K-Drama, Air Jordan, Lil Prophet, Prophet Duck, and the third one is Priest, The Letter. I hope you listen to the music um, that, I, that I just suggested, and I hope it finds you well like it did me, and I hope the Lord can use it to glorify him and not the artist. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a happy new year.